Chicago with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Mr. Abominable. While on their way to visit with an old friend, the Raja of Outdoor, Clutch and company are forced by bad weather to cross a small corner of Mongolia. If we can stay above the clouds, we'll be all right. But we're losing altitude fast. If this keeps on, I'm afraid we're going to be in trouble. I'm not scared, Clutch. Are we, Paddlefoot? I can't keep her up. We just don't have enough power. Flying, flying in these high mountains is a dangerous business. Clutch! That mountain just ahead! We're gonna hit it! That was too close. We've got to try and land. You could help a lot, Spinner, by keeping a sharp lookout ahead. Clutch takes the plane lower, and they break out below the clouds. But no possible place for a landing can be seen. Spinner, we're in luck. Look at that ahead. It's a kind of a clearing, Clutch. And I think I can see some tents. Looks like some sort of civilization, Spinner. This is it. Hold on. I'm going to try and set her down. Golly, this wind is cold. Those mountains above us are all covered with snow. Those are the Himalayas, Spinner. Highest in the world. Uh-oh. Here comes somebody. Sure hope he's friendly. We'll know in a minute. Hello there. Do you speak English? Welcome to our humble village. What brings you to our out-of-the-way home? We were forced to land because of the high winds. I'm Clutch Cargo, and these are my pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot. Clutch Cargo? A double welcome, for we have read of your many heroic deeds. Thank you. I am Prince Gung Ho, ruler of our province. But please come by the fire and warm yourself. We are very sad and afraid. Our sacred blue yak, the only one ever born, has disappeared. A blue yak? The yak is an animal much like your cow, only with long fur to protect it from the freezing cold. Gosh, I'd like to see one. You may never see the sacred blue yak, but I will show you our regular ones. Is that one? <laughs> no, Spinner. He is as big as a yak, but that is Chuck Chi, my faithful servant. Chuck Chi, this is Clutch Cargo and Company. Maybe they will help us find our sacred blue yak. You no know find blue yak. Him gone way away. Chuck Chi believes the sacred blue yak was stolen by a mysterious creature we call the Abominable Snowman. I've heard about him. He walks like a man, but looks like an enormous ape. Ah. Golly, do you think there is such a thing? With my own eyes, I see him. Chuck is the only one who has, but many have seen his tracks. This gets spookier all the time. A real honest to goodness yak napper. Prince will be glad to help you. I thank you, but you must be careful. The snow in the mountains is deep and the cliffs are high. And remember, this is the country of the abominable snowman. We'll be careful, Prince. Yes, we'll be careful. Clutch and company, with Chuck Chi as a guide, start on the long, high mountain trek. We haven't far to go to the top. Clutch! Look! What is it? The abominable snowman. Can this really be the abominable snowman? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Mr. Abominable. You remember last time, Clutch and company were on their way to see the Raja of Outdoor and were forced down in Mongolia. They met Prince Gung Ho and his faithful servant Chuk Chi. Their sacred blue yak had been stolen. As Clutch and company began a search for the beast, Clutch! Look! What is it? The Abominable Snowman. Come on, Spinner, we're going to follow him. We are? Maybe he'll lead us to the blue yak. Chuck Chi. Clutch! He's gone! Robbie. Chuck Chi! Here goes the snowman, Clutch. Come on, let's go. The snow's too hard to show tracks here, but I, I think he's behind that snow pile just ahead. Quiet now. Maybe we can surprise him. But golly, Clutch! He looked awful big. Shh! 
Clutch and his pals take a careful look. He's not there. Where'd he go, Clutch? There's something moving over to the left. You and Paddlefoot wait here. If you see him, holler. Okay, Clutch. Clutch goes on ahead, while Spinner and Paddlefoot keep watch from behind the snow pile. But something is watching them. Quiet, Paddlefoot. Clutch doesn't want us to make any noise unless we see the snowman. Quiet, Paddlefoot. Yipe! Clutch! <laughs> Boy, Paddlefoot. There he is again, Clutch. Do you think maybe he's playing? It's hard to tell, Spinner. Hey, you. Who, me? Welcome to the end of the earth. But you speak English. Naturally. Everybody does an egg stain. Egg stain? Yep. Good old egg stain, Ohio, and the good old USA. That's where I'm from. But what are you doing here? I was in business for myself back in Ohio. I had an Easter egg factory. One day it burned. So I decided to go to the farthest end of the earth and become a hermit. <laughs> here I am. And we thought we'd discovered the eighth wonder of the world. The wonder is that you discovered me. <laughs> Usually, I stay pretty well hidden. Well, Mr. Abominable, those people down there think you stole their sacred blue yak. I think I saw it. But I wouldn't take anything that didn't belong to me. You mean, you know where it is? Follow me. I'll take you to the place where the sacred blue yak is a prisoner. You mean, it's caged? It's in a pen at the bottom of a deep canyon. How did it get in there? That's the problem. There's no way in and no way out. You mean this canyon has no entrance at all? Yep, that's about the size of it. I had a good look around for myself. I figured that only a mountain goat could get in there. That is, if he had a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> there must be an entrance somewhere. And we'll find it. Come on. Golly, this ice is slippery. We don't want to get too close to the edge of the cliff, Paddlefoot. <laughs> Not much further now. Just over this little rise, and we'll see the sacred blue yak. Oh, no. Look down there. It's gone. The sacred blue yak is gone! The sacred blue yak disappeared from its hiding place. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Mr. Abominable. Last time, Clutch and company started out in search of the sacred blue yak. Suddenly, Spinner spotted the abominable snowman, who turned out to be a man from Ohio, turned hermit. He led them to the hiding place of the blue yak. However, the sacred blue yak is gone! That's where it was, all right. There's the pen where it was kept. Golly, that's a long drop. I don't see any entrance either, Clutch. Only one thing to do. We'll go back and get the plane. Weather's better now. We'll search from the air. Come over to my house. I can help you get back faster. Good. But how? With my sled. We can ride to where the snow stops. Then you can walk to the village. A sled? Oh, boy! Clutch and company head for the snowman's home. Here it is. It may not be a castle, but it's home to me. Gee, this would make a swell clubhouse for the kids. Come in. I'll show you how we live at the end of the earth. Looks like you're set for food anyway. Yes, I like to eat. Where's your sled? Right here. It's my bed, too. Good idea. Serves two purposes. <laughs> it's a bed sled. This will be fun. Golly, this is fun. <laughs> He looks like he's ready to take off. Take off? We're going to. Yikes! It's all right, folks. Just sit back and enjoy the scenery. That's good driving. Nothing to it. When I had my Easter egg factory, I drove a taxi cab.
Halloween season. Help me pay the bills. Here we are, folks. End of the line. I mean, the snow. I'm afraid you'll have to walk from here. We won't be long. Can you get the sled back alone? Oh, sure. I slide down here two, three times a week just for fun. Sometimes when I get back, I can't talk for a while. The change in altitude affects my voice. When we get back, if you can't talk, we'll know why. Don't worry. So long, Mr. Abominable. Clutch and company continue on foot toward the village. Welcome back, Clutch and Spinner. Any luck? We thought we met the abominable snowman, but he turned out to be some fellow from Ohio. From Eggstain. Eggstain? Yes, Eggstain, Ohio. But he's gone hermit. I see. He showed us where the blue yak had been held prisoner, but when we got there, it had disappeared. Disappeared? Oh, no. We're going to take the plane and search from the air. Would you like to come with us? I have never had an air ride. Do come with us. You bet he will, Spitter. Okay, then. Let's go. Watch every moving thing you see on the ground. It could be the blue yak. But not a sign of the sacred animal do they see. Clutch decides to land on the hard snow near the hermit's cabin. I fear we shall never see the sacred blue beast again. But something's going on. Here comes Mr. Abominable. And if he's not excited, no one ever has been. Come on, quick! Hurry! Is the snowman in great trouble? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Mr. Abominable. Last time, Clutch and company found the hiding place of the sacred blue yak empty. Using the bed sled of Mr. Abominable to hurry down the mountain, they picked up Prince Gung Ho in the plane and flew back to the mountaintop to find... Come on, quick! He sure Follow all worked me. up over something. Quick! Follow me! Gosh, he's going fast. Hard to keep up with him. Something terrible has happened. Hey, wait for us. What's going on? What's happened? Come on, quick! We'll find out soon enough, I guess. I know something terrible has happened. I feel it right here. Look, he stopped. Hurry up, you guys. Great news. The yak's back. The sacred blue yak is back. Oh, how can I thank you? What, what is your name? Yes, we can't go around calling him Mr. Snowman. Or Mr. Abominable. Didn't I introduce myself? I'm Jack Jones. From Eggstain, Ohio. I'm Clutch Cargo. And this is Spinner and Paddlefoot. Oh, this is oh. Prince Gung Ho, ruler of his province. This is indeed a pleasure. Imagine meeting a real prince. You are indeed, how do you say, most welcome. And now, how to get the sacred animal to my village? I have just a thing in the plane. A coil of rope 200 feet long. We'll get it. Clutch gets the rope and ties it to a rock. Then leaving Jack Jones, the snowman, until last, they start sliding down the rope. First spinner with Prince Gung Ho last. Slowly and carefully, they descend until they reach the bottom. Okay, Jack, your turn. Start down. My blue yak, my beautiful sacred blue yak. He sure missed you, Mr. Prince. Look how glad he is to see you. Mm -hmm. We've got to get him out of here fast. Whoever kidnapped him is sure to come back. There must be a way out. We'd better look. I can't let the blue yak out of my sight. What if he disappears while we're gone? You're right, Prince. You stay in guard him while we look around. Come on, Spinner. We won't be long, Prince. Jack Jones, the snowman, makes his way slowly down the long rope. As Jack Jones told them, the change in altitude begins to affect his voice. And soon, he is unable to make a sound. 
while Clutch and Spinner are searching for a way out of the deep canyon, Jack Jones decides to rest on a ledge halfway down the cliff. Out of the rocks comes a figure who looks exactly like him. You can't tell them apart. Uh -oh. Poor Jack, out cold. And down the rope comes the abominable snowman, heading for Prince Gung Ho, who is waiting alone with the sacred blue yak. The real abominable snowman. Will he do away with the prince? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Butch Cargo. Butch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Mr. Abominable. You remember last time, Clutch and Company flew to the mountain top to find the sacred blue yak was back. Reaching the canyon bottom by rope, they found no exit. The real abominable snowman appeared and began making his way slowly toward the prince and his sacred blue yak. No sign of a way out of this canyon anywhere. We'll have to get some men from the village. They'll help us haul the yak up the cliff. It'll be a job, but there's nothing else we can do. Clutch, look! Oh, no. The yak disappeared again. And no sign of the prince either. Wait, wait, there's his hat. Wonder what's happened, Clutch? Did you hear that? Sure it is, Spinner. It's over there. Come on. Meanwhile, the other snowman has just moved a rock back into position, covering a hole in the cliff wall. There's Jack Jones. We forgot all about him. Hello, Mr. Jones. I guess the change in altitude affected your voice, huh, Jack? That's all right. We understand. Oh, boy, stop that. You know Jack Jones. He's our friend. There it is again. It's coming from inside the cliff. Clutch! There's an opening behind this rock. That's what we've been looking for. Jack, help me roll back the rock and we'll see what we can find. Meanwhile, Prince Gung Ho is recovering from a low blow dealt him by the villain snowman. I must warn Clutch and Spinner. He'll kill them. But too late. Clutch and company are already making their way down the tunnel, followed by the man they think is their friend, Jack Jones. Look, Clutch. There he is. The blue yak. Someone meant to hide him here till we'd gone away. Good work, Paddlefoot. That wasn't Jack Jones at all. Why, it's the real Mr. Abominable. Clutch. Clutch Cargo. That's the Prince Gun Ho. Oh, I am so happy you are safe. That's the real Abominable Snowman, Mr. Prince? No, he's my sweet, once faithful servant, Chuck G. Gone South. Chuck G. Hmm. He didn't mean to, but he led us to this tunnel anyway. It's the way out of the canyon. Come on. As soon as we get through here, I'll go up on the cliff and get Jack Jones. Wonder what's keeping him. As they come out of the tunnel, they hear a shout. Hey! Be careful. Here comes Chuck T again. That's not Chuck T, Prince. <laughs> Paddlefoot knows. It's our old friend, Jack Jones. From Eggstein, Ohio. And that's where I'm going. I've had enough of being a hermit. You've seen the last of Chuck Chi, Prince. As near as I can figure it, he needed the sacred blue yak to become the ruler of another province. But now it is safe again. I thank you all, my friends, from the bottom of my heart. Clutch and company take leave of Prince Gung Ho and the sacred yak. There is an extra passenger in Clutch's plane. Yep, I'm gonna start up another Easter egg factory. I'm going to make all my eggs look like that there yak and Paddlefoot. <laughs> Paddlefoot, the yolk's on you. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Mr. Abominable. Be sure to join us again for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.